Is this the year of the quarter ton truck? Check out this GMC AT4X. The Sierra right here looks pretty rad. The wrap job alone is uh, what I really appreciate. When you look at all the seams, uh, it is extremely clean. I love the detail, but you also have uh, Rhino line uh, fender and fender wells. You got at least 35 inch tires on here. The mule equipment, uh, heavy duty rack with a easy air up, air down system little JBL speaker up top, some storage, which sure, I mean, you have a truck, but I don't know why you need the storage, but I do love the exterior speakers. Uh, this is a pretty sweet setup. And for the suspension, I don't know what it is, but you got some piggyback shocks there and the RTX off-road looks like true beadlock wheels that are color matched with that wrap. This thing is pretty dope. Now we're in the Lexus area with a couple different uh, Overland builds. If you're a Lexus fan, falls in the Toyota family. We got this two-track nation uh, build. It's a 2009 GX 470 with a ton of aftermarket parts. And what I love is homie might need to switch his tires out. He has definitely been using this vehicle and abusing it. These things can go 350,000 miles without any catastrophic damage. Uh, so if you are into Toyotas, I like this one. Raptor is pretty cool too. We got another 2010 here with a snorkel, tough stuff overland uh, awning. The wheels, if, these aren't really my thing. I like uh, 17, 18 inch wheels. Those look closer to 20, but it's a really cool aesthetic. You got the Casey highlight uh, lights up there. And then if we keep on going down, we got some other Lexus builds. If you guys have been following Toyota like we have, we're really excited about the Land Cruiser. Um, but this obviously same platform just with all the luxury that you come to expect with Lexus. Um, this is a little concept vehicle. It's coming out soon. But overall, it's just really cool, clean lines. I, I love the rack. You got Pelican cases up there. This is obviously not trail uh, run yet, but uh, Prince combined with this GX platform I think is really gonna, um, if you have the money for it, change the game when it comes to luxury off-roading. And next up, we have our build, this brand new 2023 Toyota Tundra with an awesome Mamba Green to Forest Green wrap, two inches of lift, 35 inch, brand new to the market, the Goodyear Wrangler Boulder uh, tires. These are 35 inches with the KMC wheels. If you want to see the details on this and if you want to win it, just go to Forge4x4.com because we're giving this beast plus 15 grand away. Now enough of with our builds, let's go look at some more Toyotas. All right, I have the American Adventure Lab 392 Wrangler here that has some really cool features. First, you got the fender chop that is their custom product and check out their inner fenders. Super clean, I love their logo. Uh, we also have a light mount right here that allows you to get your light bar up and above your winch, but in the back is really where the magic happens on this thing. Um, First off, you got a little storage compartment. I love these versus a little, the stuff that comes with the factory webbing. This is way more heavy duty. Some molly panels to mount some stuff there. And then their modular system or their storage system is pretty unique and rad. I'm sure you guys have seen their stuff, but you got the dual access locking mechanism, 500 pound capacity, all uh, really high quality aluminum. It's really clean. If you are someone that has OCD and likes everything stored in a nice neat place, that is what you want. Check out this little water mount, uh, which is rad. They just think of all like the little bells and whistles that you need if you're overlanding to keep everything organized and complete. Plus this little trailer is actually a uh, Jeep Gladiator truck bed that they're using, but they actually sell the chassis for it so you could build your own trailer uh, and obviously has enough capacity to mount just about anything that you want. American Adventure Lab always creates good stuff. Give them a like and follow and subscribe, I guess. I don't know. Go check them out. All right, check out this second gen Toyota truck. Uh, this thing, I love the color scheme. If you go to Forge4x4.com, we actually have some shirts with that color scheme that I think you're gonna like. But I can't say too much about this besides you got some monster LP9s, a ton of aftermarket work on here. This thing has been restored and modified to perfection. I think you got the turbo diesel engine under here as well. The monster 40 inch tires or 38s. Yeah, 37 inch tires. Uh, and I like the, the look of it. I 
And in the back, we got the front runner rack with the Ironman, uh, the water tank right here. What I like about that is you could actually turn it on and power it, which you don't have to pressurize it. A little water pump makes that pretty nice. We actually like Ironman uh, 4x4. Iron Man 4x4 a lot. They have really high quality products. We had it on our Dewdrop Alpha uh, in this RTT little Nomad system. Looks pretty sweet. We got a monster Sequoia behind me. This is the ultimate family vehicle with 24 inch, it looks like, 20 inch uh, Vossen wheels. These wheels are insane. You got the Yokohama Geo. Geolander AT tires, and then up front, you got the CBI bumper. This is such a clean bumper. I love the gold motif that they're going for throughout this. Complete customs. Uh, you also got the rigid lights and a Prinsu rack up top. Shift pod, shout out to Shift pod. Great way for overlanding if you don't always want to have a rooftop tent and a huge storage compartment. You could take a family of seven anywhere around the country and go camping with this setup. Uh, I really like it. I'm at the Dana booth and I know you've been asking yourself, Carter, why can't I fit 42s on my Jeep Gladiator? It's because you don't have Dana 60s in the front and Dana 80s on the back. Check this out. True bead locks with 42 inch uh, Nitto Trail Grappler tires. These things, I'm six foot two and that goes up to my waist. That's pretty impressive. You got metal cloak uh, fenders on there with the full King Overland setup. Look, uh, looks like we have some Rebel dampeners and then uh, the rock slide engineering side steps. This rack system is really rad. Is a Rebel Off-Road? Yeah, Rebel Off-Road rack system. But check out what's going on in the back here. Dana 80 power, that thing can pretty much power a monster truck or at least protect the monster truck's axles. That is impressive. That will be the last thing to break on this truck, I guarantee you. I'm at the Pittman Outdoors booth with some really innovative products for you campers out there. Check out the airbed. So this inflates and deflates with the flip of a switch. You can take the battery out right here and recharge it. Use your truck bed as a tent. This just attaches to the edge. It's fully sealed and weatherproof, so you're up and out of the cold, wet ground. Really awesome product for any of you looking to just camp in the back of your truck, but that's not all. Check out what they got on the inside of this Jeep Gladiator. So let's say you have some kiddos that you don't want to sleep back there. Uh, they could sleep right in the back with this inflatable mattress. Really, really awesome. They also have awnings, refrigerators, coolers, Pittman Outdoors. Check them out. Uh, really awesome products and pretty sweet camping rig if you ask me, even if you just want to camp in the back of the truck. I'm in front of the Racket Bronco and check this thing out, guys. We got the True North Fabrication front bumper, a small company out of Florida that this is a really sick looking bumper. I love the fact that you have a place for all your lights. And check out this Mac Man magnet. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but this is not a vinyl wrap. It is a magnet that you can actually pull off, clean off, and re-stick on, which is pretty rad. Now, the Racket system is completely modular. You could take it on and off really easily. Lightweight, 500 pound dynamic capacity. 800 pound uh, full capacity on these racks for the Broncos. Um, and right now we got a rooftop tent on it. And then this thing is pretty rad in the back. I love this. The ability to have some additional storage on the side um, that I'm assuming is optional. And then in the back here, we got a full little kitchen setup, which is rad. The Iron Man 4x4 kitchen in a box. That is cool. And some also a little table with some molly panels which is rad. Uh, check out Racket. Really, really cool racks. All right, we got a truck cap behind me that is going to change the overlanding game. Mark my words, it, without any windows or anything, only weighs 65 pounds, injected fiberglass that holds 1,500 pounds on top. Insane compared to a stainless steel canopy that weighs a couple hundred pounds, this is gonna keep you nice and light. You could add windows to it and check this out. You got a full storage system right here. Last year we profiled this and this is phase two. It's the Venturous Ozark. Uh, look them up because the inside is ridiculous. You can have a ton of things. I mean, the amount of weight that they have on this is insane. Full on recovery. You could put some molly panels and is really sleek. And check this out on the side. Uh, I'm a big fan of canopies that actually conform to the body line that make it look like it's a continuous vehicle. And this does that because with fiberglass, you're able to fold it and mold it into shapes that you just can't do with stainless steel. So this uh, product by LTA Manufacturing is 
pretty, pretty nice. We're not gonna let those sound tests hold us down. I'm gonna still show you this uh, awesome Sequoia build. Not only is do you have the CBI front bumper right here, I love how clean this is. Goes into the factory mounts and gives you that stainless steel protection that you want. Integrated Warren winch. And check out these wheels. These are the raised bronze wheels. I don't know what model they are, but they look really clean, especially with that green paint job. Got the High Force Max. This is a TRD off road version. Uh, this awning is wicked awesome. I wish I could tell you who has it. Alucab awning with the Alucab rooftop tent. And in the back, look at this. You got the full size spare with the little table setup. This swings out and that's all just put into the tow hitch. What's cool about that is when you're not off-roading it, you don't need a full size spare. You just take that off, leave it in the garage and you're good to go. Uh, I'm loving these Sequoias, guys. Behind me, we got the R1 Concepts Tacoma here. I like this Air Raid snorkel, super sleek, doesn't stick out too much. It's gonna make sure that your water fording is all the way up to this, which hopefully you're not going that far underwater. Uh, we got a rooftop tent up here with the Sidewinder, uh, I don't know who makes that. Oh, Overland Vehicle System Sidewinder. This tent is rad. It pops up and then comes out, which is pretty cool. The aftermarket uh, bumper by 4WP, and then we also got some fuel uh, wheels which I really like the, blonde, the bronze on the black, plus you got the full King Shock setup. Uh, overall, a build that's definitely seen some use on the trails, which I really appreciate. One thing to add uh, that I just noticed, so I think this is a little diesel heater. You got the air intake right there, the exhaust, uh, plus a little battery setup. And I like how at first glance, we didn't even notice it. We just have these two little Pelican cases, but inside you actually have a heater to be able to throw heat up into your tent and a battery to charge all of your things. Really innovative uh, spot for it because normally this spot, this area is just wasted with a, you know, max track or some rotopax or something like that. But I like it. All right, we got a Toyo Tires Tacoma behind me. And what I really like about this build, not only do you have King Reservoir shocks and piggyback shocks on the back, but this Alucab canopy is one of my, it's like a motorhome on wheels. The tent pops up inside. You got a full little setup that you could sit, make dinner. You also have a little stove right here that I think is a wood burning stove and uh, tons of gear and storage on the back, plus a full size spare tire. These wheels are pretty rad too. These are the Rays forged wheels in bronze. Uh, when you have a forged wheel versus cast aluminum, it's a lot stronger uh, and allows you to have that peace of mind whenever you're on the trail to freaking send it. This thing is rad. Out cab, we want to put one of those on one of our rigs in the future. We got this Kicker Performance Audio Mojave here. Um, not a ton up front, but in the back is really where the magic happens. This Alucab full canopy system uh, with a bunch of metal cloak parts, tons of gear storage. This opens up and you got a full motorhome on the inside. Uh, there's a little compartment that actually flips up so you could get up into the rooftop tent. Everything's enclosed. Really awesome, heavy duty system from Alucab. And the award for sickest Jeep wrap goes to this Attica Jeep Gladiator. This thing is rad. Love the black, love the gray. These side steps are crazy awesome. You got 40 inch Mickey Thompson. I think those are 40s or 42s. Um, the Baja XLs and then suspension wise, you got the airbag suspension up front with the JRI shocks. Haven't heard of those before, but they look pretty sweet. And in the back, this full setup is crazy heavy duty. Uh, you got the mountain hatch right here, which is rad, full size spare. You got some wakeboard speakers, the Attica 4x4 rack system. Uh, this thing is not built for the faint at, of heart. Um, also these, I don't know who makes these, but these uh, rear um, brake lights are pretty rad. Those are pretty cool. And check out this rear bumper. That thing is gnarly. I like how it's square actually. That is pretty unique and cool. We're in the real truck booth with a Deutsch Off-Road Gladiator that is awesome. Orange and black motif from head to toe. Uh, plus, you got the Raceline wheels here, true beadlocks, the Fox uh, Performance shocks with a little 
piggyback setup in the back, reservoir shocks up front. You got the Deutsch off-road aluminum 7075 memory metal steering kit that's gonna make sure this thing stays where you want it. Plus, there's some other little products here like the Rugged Ridge front stubby bumper with the integrated Rugged Ridge winch. And uh, I don't know what these are, what these are called, but check this out. If you get close in there, you got a little, little Jeep grill on your headlights, which are kind of cool. Up top, we got some, looks like Solus lights. I really like this, uh, no, it's a Go Rhino lights with a little light bar thing around it. That's pretty rad. Uh, and then the wrap is sick. The tubular uh, side steps are rad. And in the back, we got the full Overland setup. I'm a big fan of builds that do color matching and really tie a whole theme together. And that is uh, what you see with this rack. We got the rugged ridge rooftop tent and the full size spare mounted on a little swing on this uh, bumper. The bumper I believe is a rugged ridge as well. Um, great that you have a little tow hitch still right there. You got some great access points, but I think this is pretty cool that you could swing the whole thing out and it's not sticking out too much. It looks pretty compact and next to the build. Awesome build. I'm in the Paramount Automotive booth with a beast of a Tacoma. You got the Icon vehicle dynamic suspension. These wheels are really rad. Weld wheels and kind of a gray, painted gray that looks really sick. But these side steps by Paramount are really rad. And check out this front bumper. Not only does it have an integrated air, so you can just plug your hose in there and fill up on the trail. I like how sleek and dynamic it is while at the same time maintaining that aggressive stance. There's 37 inch Maxxis tires on this so it's gonna be a beast and look at that tread pattern is nuts now check out the back we got the full overlanding setup uh, not only do you have a rooftop rack with some diode dynamics lights but you have the ability to mount some pelican cases on the side of this adventure rack and for good measure why not put some wakeboarding speakers on the back because you know SEMA we're in the Magnaflow booth with a wicked awesome Bronco. Check this thing out. We got the full Kamberg uh, upper control arms, lower control arms with the Fox Performance. Uh, this is the heavy duty suspension setup. I believe, yeah, the long travel kit. Uh, not a ton of lift, but this thing is gonna be able to articulate and go anywhere. You got the GFC 10 up top, rigid lights, really awesome wrap. And I think one day we will definitely put Kamberg on our rigs, but uh, overall, Sweet build at Magnaflow. All right, I'm at the Sea Sucker booth with some awesome products that I think you might enjoy. Coming from a film background, we use suction cups on our vehicles all the time in order to mount our camera gear and accessories. And these guys figured out a way for you to be able to mount just about anything on the side of your vehicle from cup holders to tables to sinks. Instead of, instead of having to set up a table and do everything else, just stick it on the side of your vehicle. Uh, these things are crazy heavy duty. You pressure them up right there and they stick really well. Uh, they have just about everything mounted on this, which is rad. Check them out, Sea Sucker uh, products. I think this is really innovative and really cool for us Overlanders. If you've made it to this point, congratulations. We are giving away over $1,000 worth of Rome Adventure Gear coolers and other awesome products. And all you need to do to get entered is subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon, and leave a comment below. In two weeks, we'll select winners at random and we'll notify you through YouTube. Now, back onto the awesome Toyota content. All right behind me is the Tyler Robinson Foundation charity build that uh, is really cool looking. You got the BA 4x4 off-road bumper right here with the integrated Ward winch, rigid lights from head to toe. I love the green and the gold motif. The interior, you can't really see it, but it's super dialed. You got the rooftop tent up there, 1552 color match wheels with the front uh, grill there, and then complete uh, Kamberg upper control arms, upgraded suspension setup, and in the back here, we got the full front runner set up with a little drawer, a slide out for your domestic fridge, a little table. It's really seamless and packed tight together so that you could take this thing off-roading. We also got a BA 4x4 off-road bumper. And whoever ends up winning this or bidding the most on it is going to support a great charity. So awesome build. This Rebel Off-Road Gladiator build is insane. Check out the suspension, full king, long travel. You got a ridiculous canister right there with the Terraflex IR lift. This thing has definitely seen some trails uh, with some worn front lockers on the back. I don't know what wheels these are, um, but they look pretty rad. 
This says leaf springs are for poor people. And that is definitely true because this thing costs a pretty penny. Check out this full canopy setup. Uh, you have some stainless steel or it looks like aluminum doors, a full rack set up on top. And then this Rebel Off-Road rear bumper is really legit. Love the color. I love how the Rotopacks kind of go inside so they're not sticking out. You have the Overland Vehicle Systems awning and the Rockslide Engineering side steps. This is one ridiculous gladiator. All right, the Drop Racks booth with a little Forerunner and check this out. The ability to have all of your gear on top instead of having to reach over and nearly kill yourself getting up and down with the wind of a little mechanism right there. You have a full kayak. What's the weight capacity? Sorry? What's the weight capacity? Uh, 80 kilograms, 80 kilograms. 80 kilograms uh, can be fit up there and go up and down. That is pretty dope. And it still keeps your uh, rig protected, everything up and out of sight. Drop racks, cool product. All right, check out this Tacoma that definitely has some Australian vibes. You got the full safari uh, snorkel here, plus this uh, front grill is super unique. Love that with the road armor, road armor front bumper. You got the integrated winch, the diode dynamics headlights are the spotlights right here and the little pod lights. The up overland, up top overland rack system with some awesome little handles and side lights. Got the full roam adventure gear. You know we love these guys. Storage, the 23-0 tent, and then the wheel and tire combo. Uh, TIS off-road wheels, those are really aggressive. I like the look of it. 34, 35 inch tires, um, plus suspension wise, I'm not sure exactly what we're working with. It doesn't look that heavy duty. Um, in the back here, you, of course, you gotta have a spot for your flag. The rack system is pretty complete. There's a ton of gadgets on here. This thing is definitely set up for adventure. Behind me, we got the Mountain Yotas Tacoma with the full wide body fiberglass kit. Definitely makes this thing look aggressive. 40 inch tires. Those things are insane. With Camberg upper control arms, you got the GOAT suspension set up here. Those are adjustable. Uh, the wrap is really awesome. Not a ton of lights, but you got a little light bar up top. A full overland setup with this tent folds all the way over. Gives you a ton of space. Uh, plus this uh, shell or this canopy is the super Pacific canopy with the wrap integrated. And I mean, this thing is an absolute monster, at least six, six inches of lift and overall pretty sweet build. We got an awesome uh, Tacoma Beast build right here. Rhino line from head to toe. You have um, a great CBI off-road bumper right there with the integrated uh, light bar. And then check out these wheels. The KMC 74 weld wheels. Um, I think these are just KMC beadlocks and then 74 weld is the axles potentially. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that it does have some King Reservoir shocks. And in the back, we got the RSI Smart Cap with the Prince Rack combo tons of gear storage back there uh, 35 inch monsters and a full-size spare be careful whenever you are mounting a spare tire on the back of your bumper like this because all that weight could definitely give you some bounce and you could lose control and other things but overall you know Tacoma Beast does great stuff FSR uh, smart tent up top and I think that's about it awesome build Tacoma Beast always does great stuff and this is no exception uh, now this build is an awesome overlanding build with the Baja Boss, which are the same size. Now these are the 40s, um, but a lot of the same components on this build as well. What I like about this one is you have the full rooftop tent, tough, tough stuff overland. This thing is really set up for adventure. Uh, in the back, look how clean the storage system is. I love being able to mount your uh, your cases on the side of the rack. And this rack is so high that it keeps everything up and out. I would like to see something covered back there, but overall, uh, you could take this thing out, explore the wilderness. All right, we got a sick TRD Pro Tundra behind me with the Mazella upper control arms. Those look like billet aluminum. We got King uh, shocks. We got the Geoland 
Air NT Yokohama tires. These are the 37 inch tires with some black Rhino wheels. Uh, this, I need some help on this because I don't know what bumper this is, but it is awesome. I love how it's super clean all around the edge, really conforms to that TRD Pro body shape. You got the TRD Pro grill right here, some Baja Design LP4 lights, and up top some Baja Design uh, a light bar. In the back, what I really like is this RSI Smart Cap. We've used a, a canopy similar to this in the past, but I've been watching these guys for a while. I love how it conforms to the shape of the Tundra. It actually looks like it's continuously on there. Uh, and then it looks like uh, everything else as far as the exhaust is pretty much the same. And then the ADD off-road rear bumper with some uh, little fog lights by Baja Designs is rad. And it looks like there's a full kitchen setup in the back. Very, very nice build, like it a lot. the R booth with some ridiculous Tundra builds. Check this one out. I love the wrap, the sequences, everything that I got. This front bumper is absolutely gorgeous. Multi-piece, uh, just really conforms to the body lines of the Tundra. And I love this additional protective cover. Allows you to put some lights right there. We got some nacho lights. Uh, suspension wise, I don't know what they have. It looks like a stock suspension. I'm not sure why that is, but some side steps. You got the Method racing wheels on here and check out this rack. Uh, really sleek. I've always been a fa fan of the rack systems and of course the heavy duty made in Australia uh, refrigerator and freezer combo is legit. Super clean build, awesome products. Check out our and if you thought I was saying ARB on purpose, you're right, because it's ARB. I'm just messing with you. For everyone who commented last year that I kept on saying ARB, it's a long day. Back to the Tundra Cunt. <laughs> of you wanting to save on weight, I got a solution for you. This canopy is inflatable. I've seen people turn it over and use it as a boat. You can lift it up with one hand, uh, but it still gives you the ability to walk on it. It's pretty cool. Armadillo uh, canopy, inflatable, pretty rad. We're at the Rockslide Engineering booth with the awesome little Tacoma here with some 35 inch BFGs. You got the Fox 2.5 Performance uh, Reservoir Shocks, but this is a new product that's out now. Everyone knows Rockslide Engineering for their side steps, but if you just want rock sliders a little bit more cost effective, uh, this one doesn't pop out. You could just bounce up and off of rocks and slide right over it without damaging your body. In the back of this build, uh, we have this really cool solution. Check out this little step system that folds up. Uh, easily and out of way. I like that, especially if you have a rooftop tent, you're not climbing all over your tires and getting all dirty, you could just jump up right there. Uh, we got a goose system in the back, some snail armor right here, which is pretty rad, and a nice little motorcycle ARB fridge with a ton of goose gear and slides. Solid build, Rockside Engineering. I'm in the Winbo booth with a Bronco with uh, some cool products on the side. If you like these fenders, I think it's an upgrade from the stock fenders. Uh, you have some side steps right there. It looks like just amp research or something along those lines. I like this little storage compartment. That's pretty rad. You got a rooftop tent, which looks pretty standard. But on the other side here, check out this full Max Trax and Roto Pack and a high lift jack solution. Uh, no need for a spare tire when you got all this because you just get yourself up and out of anything. Um, the only other thing I liked on this build, check out these, uh, check out these doors. So tubular doors, but these are definitely more heavy duty for if you want some more protection, these are gonna protect you. And these side steps are pretty rad, Winbo. I'm in front of the most, one of the most impressive builds at the show, this Bronco at the Vanguard booth. Uh, check out this full suspension setup. It's a Belltech lift. Uh, on there with the Vanguard rack is also really rad. Check this out. These side steps are super clean. I'm not always a big fan of side steps that stick out, but uh, does provide you some space in order to step up. But this rack is really clean, works with the soft top or hard top, uh, and has some Pelican cases up there. Overall, really cool build with some awesome Raceline beadlock wheels. <laughs> Behind me is a sweet Rebel Off-Road Gladiator build and some of the things that I like about it, you have a nice little spotlight in this section with the Fox 2.5 Performance shocks, coilovers right there. Uh, 30, 40 inch tires with Threat Off-Road beadlocks. Um, these are really cool looking. 
And one thing that I noticed on here, you got a little protective cover on the LEDs for the fenders. Uh, which, you know, if you don't want to get those banged up, kind of makes sense. You got the Rebel Off-Road stubby bumper, KC highlights from head to toe, and the back is the full uh, overlanding kit. I think these are the Rockslide Engineering side steps, or maybe unbranded for some reason. Uh, and then we got the Midnight Forest water tank. That is cool how it mounts right on this rack. Uh, the rack is the Rebel Off-Road rack. Uh, nice, thin, uh, looks like aluminum or stainless steel. Uh, but really heavy duty and I like how it's fully covered. Plus we got the uh, rooftop tent up there. Sweet overland build. Got a sweet little gladiator behind me. This thing has seen uh, some trail use. You got a Clayton lift with the Fox uh, Performance 2.5 adjustable shocks, fuel off-road, looks like true beadlock wheels. And then in the back, uh, I don't know what rack that is, but check out this trucked rack. Now, what I like about this is you can have it adjustable. So on this side, you see that it's only about half of the cab. Check out the other side. This crossbar comes over and then you have a full molly panel and the rack system on this side. So your rooftop tent could go below the top of your truck bed cover and it still works with the roll and lock tonneau cover system. This bumper uh, has a full size spare on it. As an AFN bumper, uh, I do like the fact that it's not in the middle, it's offset. So you could still have some jerry cans right here. Overall, really cool build. Solar panels integrated. You got your mobile phone set up and awning. This thing is pretty much a motorhome on wheels. We're the Overland Vehicle Systems with the awesome Gladiator. Check this thing out. We got the Rock Slide Engineering side steps, the black Rhino wheels paint color match to that uh, military army green. Plus, in the back, check out this Mag Pack full setup. <laughs> This is a great overlanding solution that gives you a ton of room and storage, protects everything in the back, and is stainless steel, so it's gonna be able to hold as much weight as you wanna put up there while off-roading. Overland vehicle system. We're in the Attica 4x4 booth with an awesome 4Runner. Check out these new wheels. These are the Rays Forged T37s in the matte green. Uh, that is going to be really popular. It looks really cool. We got some power disc brakes on here and then uh, some other things that I saw. The Alley Cab full RTT setup with the integrated solar. LP6s up front. This is very, very powerful and bright. Do not look directly into that. It's pretty much like staring at the sun, uh, but overall 4Runner lovers are gonna love this. You got the Attica 4x4 side steps that are also double as rock sliders and in the back we got the full overlanding setup with the 270 degree awning. We got the National Luna fridge right here with the goose gear storage. All of this folds up, super compact. Plus you got your jerry cans, off-road bumper. Really, really cool build. I like it. I'm in front of the Shady Overlanders 4Runner build. This thing is pretty sweet. You got integrated solar right here. This thing has definitely seen some trails. The Nitto Trail Grappler tires with the NVX wheels. Uh, the full King setup with the reservoir shocks. Those things are massive. You got some rock sliders right here. And in the back, you got a 270 degree awning. All of your air hookups are right here. This folds up and down. Uh, plus you got some side lights and it looks like a rear bumper. This thing has definitely seen some trails and the full-size spare hooked onto the rear bumper is gonna make sure that you are there. It's there if you need it. We got a Rubicon JT behind me that is the Seymour. Quality paints and coatings, really awesome wrap job on this. I love that color. It's kind of like a gray, brown, gold which is really rad. You got LP6s all the way on top. That's not easy to do, plus some LP4s on the side. And then check out this RSI Smart Cap. Uh, this comes up, you could actually access the interior. I love, this is one of my favorite canopies for the Gladiator for sure. You got the Roof Nest RTT. This thing is huge, absolute monster. So big that it even goes over the cab a little bit, but with that rack system up top, it's a, you're able to fit it. Uh, really cool build with some Black Rhino wheels. Black Rhino, star of the show this year seen a lot of black rhino at the show. Oh, check this out. So those of you who are vertically challenged, it's hard to get up without any steps onto the roof rack. That's where this little step comes in. I don't know what brand this is. I know a couple of people make them, but that is a cool solution to help you get up on top of your rack. We're at the Expedition One booth with a sweet Sequoia. This is a TRD Pro with the Black Rhino wheels. Uh, you got the Expedition One front bumper here, which I love how it contours to the body of the 
Sequoia, plus there's some other really cool things. You got the high test uh, rack system by Mule, and then the RTT up there is really rad. In the back, uh, you're working with a 270 degree awning, um, and check out this Pelican case, great storage, and your full size spare is up and out of the way. That's gonna slide out. This is one heavy doo doo bumper. Expedition One uh, makes really good products, plus we also got the side steps that double as rock sliders. Uh, so you can keep your family vehicle looking family-wise even after taking it with some hardcore off-roading. Awesome Sequoia build. We're in the DPI off-road brands with a 2022 Tundra on here. There's some really cool features. Uh, these method racing wheels are really rad, but you also got the Tough Country upper control arms. Uh, looks like Toyo Tech reservoir shocks. But in the back, this is something I haven't seen before. You got a nice little rack, and if you notice, the rack kind of ends a little early, and the reason for that is, check this out. Your full-size spare actually tucks into the truck, and then that folds up. That gives you you the ability to maintain proper weight balance because when you have an off-road tire that is hanging off the back, you're pretty much a lever at that point. 100 pounds hanging out the end of your tailgate may seem like really convenient, but you notice it when you're going down the trail. So this is a really cool solution. Also got an ARB uh, zero fridge freezer combo, um, but really I think this is, I like that. Recovery gear tucked up, it's rad. Check out this turbo diesel Land Cruiser behind me. This thing is definitely ready for the Australian Outback. This is in the Hercules tires uh, spot in front of the South Hall. And we got some really cool stuff on here. Not only is it just super clean, you could tell that this thing has definitely been through the paces. You got the Overland Vehicle Systems uh, rooftop tent on here, the full awning, the full canopy setup that has all of your gear, all of your storage. Uh, this thing is, just wicked awesome. You got the racing seats in there. I think those are, no idea what those are. Um, plus up top, the Rhino Rack system allows you to store all of your gear. You got a shovel, some other awesome lights and other things. This thing uh, is pretty rad. Overland Vehicle Systems, they do not mess around. Uh, we've liked their products for a while now and this is a great reflection of their company.